Loko nube mwana wa mtongo utongwa nini lantu mbuluko. Eh, kufikile nka ama kukula kamina. Eh, anivona lumu tisundwini. Se anina vela kunigangisa. Ayo sungula kuloka nchadili. Asungula kutira. Kume shtongo angama lele ya keluwa kusugi ya ntire. Yo ya ke mavoka iluga rana. Anga bule sunene majie. Atuka mala kuku yisa mkudi. Leso ali mdiru waku loko vanu na vababa visi wansika mkudi. Kota kuvalula misela kuwansika mkudi. Oh, heta lembe, anga vuli. Ante loka hete lembe saya ya vuli. Na utamile wanasatu wako la njangwini. Ani yanga. Nani yanga uula vula kuinga hama zi. Zani ya hapu nukaa. Kuwa sifisha kukuwa. Selo kuwa sungule kuwa fika babala shoku. Ishifu wa kufike nka ama loka hefe mula. Anga hefe mulu kati. Siwa kuwa kwa seno mturi. Her husband passed away in South Africa in the mines, and yet when her husband's body arrived in Mozambique, there was no death certificate or post-mortem or autopsy results accompanying it. And without some kind of indication as to why he died, Helena is in the dark about whether or not she's entitled to compensation, which she may very well be entitled to. When the mine worker is alive, it is difficult for him to claim these benefits. But similarly so, it becomes even more difficult once the mine worker passes away for his family to be able to access any social benefits that the mine worker is due. How is Helena, who's sitting in a rural area with no money, inability to read and an inability to speak English, ever going to be able to access her rights? I worked in the mines like my father did. We found it was important to come up with a voice that could stand beside ourselves. Helena's issues are not dissimilar to the issues that many Mozambican families and widows face. We don't have any real structures in place to ensure that when they return to their countries, their rights were adequately respected. It is difficult to come up with some solutions because we are a simple civil society. The United Nations has recently released the guiding principles on business and human rights. The government has a responsibility to hold accountable people that violate and do not respect any people's human rights. And businesses similarly have a responsibility to ensure that their practices and the way in which they conduct their businesses respect, protect, and cares for certain human rights. They have to also ensure that if in the past they have participated in ways that have violated human rights, that they come and find ways to rectify those errors. <laughs> Afi, 
South Africa discovered gold, and in order to mine the gold and the great wealth that we found, we brought in a host of migrant mine workers in order to assist us with this. These migrant mine workers and their families, if they've passed away, are forgotten. Tumelelana, Selling an aid, Zongo Malekulis, 